Hey everyone, uh, welcome back. And uh, for those of you all that have subscribed to our channel, thank you, thank you, thank you. We've got over 120 uh, uh, subscriptions, subscribers, whatever you want to call it, in one day. So I can't thank you enough. Now uh, let's race to get to a thousand and uh, we're going to start putting out a lot more videos about the content and everything that we have here uh, in Minner Arena. So if you have not subscribed yet, please, please take a minute, go look right below the video and click that subscribe button. Just so you all know, as we're approaching uh, 500 users, we're going to start doing some cool giveaways and things of that nature. So, hey, so this clip real quick, we are talking about Steve Ott. And uh, I get a lot of questions from people. They'll say, why in the world do you have a bunch of Steve Ott stuff, especially a jersey? Hey, first of all, Steve Ott is hands down one of my favorite players. I love the fourth line scrappers. These guys that just, I mean, grind it out every single game. Uh, Steve, as uh, many of you all know, retired just here a couple of years ago. Uh, and is now one of the coaches uh, on the St. Louis Blues. So the cool thing about this jersey is that I'm a photographer, uh, and I did some family photos uh, for Steve Ott and Kyle Brodziak. What was funny, I did them both back-to-back. Uh, -back. So you'll see here, this is pretty hilarious, a picture of uh, Kyle and Steve fighting, and then a picture of them. I think this was after uh, Kyle Brodziak's first goal ever with the Blues, uh, but had both of them sign those. Uh, and I remember when I showed the photos uh, to Steve, his wife Erica said, oh my gosh, Steve, you even fought Kyle? Um, and as you all know, Kyle, he's, he's not a big fighter. He's an awesome, awesome fourth line dude as well. Uh, it's also retired, but... So anyway, this is the jersey uh, that they sent me uh, as a thank you for doing the photos. I was very, very proud of that. And then he picked out, uh, okay, a couple photos. You gotta love this shot of them playing in Minnesota uh, and just the smirk that he has. I mean, he is such a trash talker. I love it. And you gotta love these two guys right here. The guy flipping the bird and the guy just screaming like crazy. So, uh, and then the other photo he approved to go in here was when he was fighting Taves. So uh, anytime they're fighting Blackhawks, you know, you gotta love that. Um, also gave me a uh, game use stick. Uh, so that was a, a pretty cool item. And uh, signed that somewhere down there, yep. Um, and then my collection kind of continued uh, with Steve Ott. Uh, like I said, I just admire him uh, as a player. Uh, and this is uh, one of his game-used helmets. Uh, this would have been a, a home helmet uh, that he used uh, prior to uh, getting traded to the Detroit Red Wings. Uh, back when guys did not have to wear visors. Steve was one of those guys that said, you know, screw that. So, uh, and then got a pair of game-used gloves uh, that were also uh, Steve Ott's during his uh, final year with the Blues. So, um, again, just wanted to show you all. Some people had asked about that and said, why in the world do you have the Ott jersey? So, there you go. That's why. One, because I think he's an awesome dude, an awesome player, and it was a gift. So, <clears throat> pretty cool. So, hey, uh, we're again, we're going to start uh, doing some giveaways, some prizes, things like that. So, please, please, please make sure and give us uh, a quick follow, uh, subscribe, and all of that good stuff. And as we're going on, uh, we will talk about all the players uh, that have been here and visited Mineral Arena. So until next time, you guys make sure and click subscribe and we'll talk to you soon.